back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about Amid Aubrey's best friend saying his killing was not about race. Every time a black man is assassinated or lynched by a white man, we have these statements, these spiritual statements about it's not about race. Or we have Botham Jean's brother hugging Amber Glyer. Or we have black people forgiving that clown down in South Carolina who assassinated nine people in a church. And as soon as the cameras hit us, we talked about forgiving that young man. No, it's not time to start forgiving. It's time to give out and level some punishment against our enemies. And what I'm trying to say is when we kill a white person, how many times have you ever seen a white family saying, I forgive you? No, white people want justice, not justice. They want death. And if they could, they would have it by execution by sundown. Well, Amid Aubrey had an execution. He had an execution in broad daylight. And now Demetrius Frazier, his friend, is saying it's not about race. It's about right and wrong. It is about race. And we already know about right and wrong. But you have to understand this, that he wouldn't be dead if it wasn't because of his race. He was killed just because someone felt or had a premonition that he may have robbed somebody or took in something from somebody. Do you think if it wasn't about race and it was a white man running down the street that they would have got in a pickup truck, Travis McMichael, his retired son, would have went down the street with a shotgun and shot him at Aubrey? No, that would not have happened. And we have to start getting off camera if we can't get on cold with what we have to say. You cannot forgive people who kill and who constantly kill our own. And another problem I have is that we're willing to protest when our own are assassinated by white people. But when we get assassinated by another black person, and we're in the hood. Daquan and his crew gets in the back of a car and he goes out across town or maybe a block over and gets some retribution against the man who was killed. Family, cousin, it doesn't matter as long as somebody else's life is taken. But when a white man kills a black man, George Zimmerman and many others, they're still walking the street. Nobody touches them. They're still out there, Daniel Pantiello, and many others who haven't paid for their crime against killing an unarmed black man. And they were let go free into society with hundreds of thousands of dollars in their pocket. But nobody is right against them. They're walking up and down the street. See, until we have that vengeance, an eye for an eye, we will always get killed. See, we have that slave master mentality that we must forgive master, but we won't forgive ourselves. See, we'll get on TV and say it's not about race. We should forgive Amber Geiger or we should forgive that killer at the church in South Carolina. But we won't even forgive each other. If I go into a store and you're not happy with a product that's in a black store, you will go out and spread it throughout the community and say, I'll never shop at that store and damn near put it out of business. This is how much psychologically we have been damaged from slavery. See, the enemy doesn't forgive. He doesn't forgive you, and he will never forgive you. See, his forgiveness 
is putting you away for life. That you will never see the light of day again. And we have to have that same mentality. See, we don't have a ruler's mentality. We have a slave mentality. And in the society today, that will get you killed and destroyed. And that's what's happening to the black community. See, he wouldn't have shot an Asian man. He wouldn't have shot an Arab man. He wouldn't have shot a Jew. He wouldn't have shot any other race. But he felt so comfortable killing this black man that he would eventually get away with this killing because of the citizen's law in Georgia. And we have to take that ability, that mindset from this white man that he has the God-given right to shoot down a black man walking down the street wherever and whatever time he feels. And until we step up to the plate and say enough is enough, because as black men, under the Constitution of the United States, under the Second Amendment law, we have the God-given right to defend ourselves and our families. And that's what Huey P. Newton was saying as a Black Panther. You have that right. And we shouldn't be so readily willing to give that right away when it comes to white people. If you shoot one of ours, why can't we shoot one of yours? We know how the justice system will come down on us, but it's all about fear that we have been taught since we've been a child. See, your greatest so-called street gangsters, gang members, thugs, whatever you want to call it, even they have been trained not to confront the white man. See, that so-called gangster and gang member, when have you ever seen them confront white authority? See, they can commit all the crimes they want within the boundaries of the black community, but they will never step over to that white community and commit those same crimes against the white man because they know the punishment that they will receive from that white man. They feel as though if I kill another black man, I can get away with it. And see, that's the problem that we have in this community. Us really not wanting to confront our slave master. See, we can cry about justice, and yeah, him and his son, Travis McMichael, they'll get life imprisonment, but it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that, man. It's about our mentality. It's about standing up to this slave master. And how many times do he get to kill our children without us laying his children down on the ground? See, they believe if I kill one of you, I got a 75% chance of going free. And they truly believe because I will be in front of a jury of my own peers. The only way fear is put into someone else or respect is put into someone else is if, if you take something that's valuable away from them. See, they believe they could take something valuable away from us and we'll cry, protest, forgive, and he will possibly walk away free. We must stop this. We must be men. We must be able to protect our own, protect our community, protect the way of our life. If we can't do that, then what are we? We are a failure. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video. If you'd like to make a donation, go to PayPal, Cash App, or Streamlabs.